Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the great pleasure and honor to speak with David Keen. He is founder and CEO of Big Tin Can. Hi, David. Gerhard, hi. Nice to see you again and thanks everybody for tuning in. Your company has made a major contribution when it comes to sales enablement uh, and uh, you are a leader in digital transformation. Can you share a little bit about your journey uh, when you started a company to now and then your vision for the future? And I think for us, look, it's all been about this increasing focus on digitization in our world that's impacting every buyer-seller interaction. And Big Tin Can was created because we just felt that existing legacy tools and systems were just not able to make a difference for customer-facing workers who were you know, suffering from this experience where their buyers we're getting more informed and better prepared and more skilled and more knowledgeable to the point whereby that buyer-seller dynamic was being disrupted. So Big Tin Cam was created for the very purpose of creating simple tools that could help every customer-facing worker be better prepared, have the right skills, have the right knowledge and the right content and materials so that when they do get a chance to engage with that more digital, more prepared, you know, more researched buyer, they can have a better chance of moving that buyer forward uh, to a point whereby they can help them to, to drive revenue and build what we're calling long-term relationships and engagements with customers. But what we continue to hear from our customers is that there is this need to be able to address that reality of how, and, and of course, whilst the pandemic has been terrible, of course, to human beings, um, you know, lives lost, economies disrupted, but at the same time, it has accelerated that consistent move towards digital remote and mobile connections between people. And so we're constantly reminded as a vendor that our job is to try and help our customers to be able to address that challenge. We can actually help them to relieve some of the stress that they're under in today's world and help them be more successful. What do you see the future? I see that that, const that, that, that trend we talked about, digitization, remote work, mobile connections between people is only accelerating. And so we see the future being about the capabilities of smart software, and platforms to be able to actually impact the way those workers engage with customers to the point whereby the software is able to guide and advise and enhance those buyer seller engagements. And so as a company, we're making pretty significant investments in creating that unified platform, that single pane of glass, if you like, that brings together everything a customer facing worker needs and also guides them down the path of being able to be sure that they are smart enough to engage with that, that, uh, that new buyer. And at the same time, we want to continue to add value to the company. We want to get deeper and deeper in terms of how machine learning and artificial intelligence can provide guidance back to marketing departments, to operations teams, to sales management, so they can make the best decisions to help their teams be more effective. When it comes to uh, digital transformation, can you name one or two companies that are really leaders that uh, uh, use Big Tin Can right now? Well, I think one of the things we've realized about our customer base is you've got to get down to some verticals because actually the way different companies in different verticals address this problem can be different. We have talked a lot about some of the customers that have made pretty significant investments in the Big Tin Can technology with that same goal, empowering every one of their you know, customer facing workers to be more successful, but doing it in different verticals. One of our customers in the life sciences market, Hologic, the world's leader in women's health technology, and they use Big Tin Can globally to solve this problem where their teams are having to be more digital. They're having to interact in new ways with these smarter and more informed buyers. And before the Big Tin Can solution, legacy technology was not really delivering um, the experience they need to be successful. So we believe that's a great example in, in the life sciences market. And in financial services, organizations like Guardian Insurance um, and Pacific Life, these are companies also struggling with that same problem but they have to address it in slightly different ways. And one of the things we've learned is that the platform approaches everything. Being able to offer these customers the ability to take the Big Tin Can platform and tailor it to meet their unique selling environment. And that's something that we're convinced is true about enterprise organizations is that they do have different selling motions. They do have different structures. So if we can kind of unite that um, in, in a unified experience, but then tailor it to meet the way their customers engage with their teams, we can make them even more successful. Yeah, and it's also more important than ever because uh, the buying journey is no longer linear. It is almost like a maze in every level of buyer, and there are more buyers than before. 
needs a different set of information and big tin can can deliver that uh, instantly. And Gerhard, it's information, but it's also skills. One of the things that I've been constantly reminded of by our customers is sure, it's great to have the right content. And yes, it needs to be automatically pushed out and made available. It needs to work online and offline. It needs to work 100% remotely. I completely agree. But at the same time, we believe it's unique and important to be able to bring skills development, training, coaching, learning, quizzing, so that we can not only make sure someone is better prepared for that engagement, we can actually make sure they have the skills they need. And we're convinced in our more digital economy that every customer facing worker is going to have to build their skills and it'll be the skilled teams that win the most deals. And so we believe that learning and skill development is as much part of sales enablement or sales engagement, however you want to talk about it, but it's as much a, 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 a critical capability as ensuring they have access to the right information. And when you can combine those two things together, you get something pretty unique. You get the ability to be able to connect and correlate information and skills. Absolutely. And the way people are successful with customers. Speaking of content, when people go to your website, uh, what content should they look at first? One of the things I always recommend customers to do is look at our website in terms of how we built the solution to address different vertical markets and different use cases within different vertical markets. And the other thing we do here at Big Tin Cam, which I think is one of the things that's really helped us be successful, is we work really closely with our enterprise customers. You know, this is not a company set up to sell to thousands and thousands of small businesses. We're not in that space. We work very closely with these, you know, more complex use cases because we know that those customers are suffering or needing to address these problems in, in kind of unique ways. We've got some of the best people, I believe, in the market here at Big Tin Can. They, they would, would love to work with enterprise customers to talk about challenges and problems and see how we solve them. Well, thank you, Dave. That was very informative. And I suggest to anyone who is in sales enablement or a sales leader, go to bigtincan.com.